Hey YouTube, it's Charisma and I'm here today with a hair video for you. Um, yeah, so I am going to wash my hair and I just want to do a video for all my new subscribers, all the people who are new to natural hair care, people who are new to going natural so that I can help them to know what to do with their hair, how to properly care for it, you know, how to go through certain different things and so that they can learn different techniques and stuff. So, my hair has been in a braid out um, since I was, I came back from LA and now it's wash time. So when I have my hair like this, I put it in sections so that I can go through each section. Now I'm not going to comb through anything. My hair has been in a braid out as you can see and it's time to wash. So you don't want to take the comb and start doing all of this. You also don't want to just go in the shower and put shampoo and all of that because your hair is going to start to get matted. It's going to clump up because our natural hair shrinks up when we add water to it. You want to try to avoid tangles, avoid all of you know the knots and all of that. So how I do that is before I wash, I take a conditioner and I put it in my hair, let it sit in my hair before I proceed to detangle. Now I'm not going to do my whole head, I'm going to do these two sections in the front to give you an idea of what I do. I take my hair and I do it in sections all the time. When you have afro textured hair, you're dealing with a lot of hair, you're dealing with textured hair, you're dealing with hair that's curling up. So you don't want to um, do it all at one time. It's not like when you had a relaxer. It's not like when you have a weave where you could just take the comb and do this. No, no, no. It's not the same. You have to start learning how to care for your hair texture. You have to learn how to start doing styles that suit the texture of your hair. You cannot do afro textured hair as if it were relaxed hair, as if it were straight hair, as if it were a weave. It's just not going to work. So, what I do is this is Herbal Essences. It was under my sink and I want to finish it up. So I'm just going to take that and start applying it to my hair. And so it's going to saturate my hair and soften it up so that I can begin the detangling process. So in sections to ensure that every strand of my hair is covered, I'm just going to go through my hair like that. Just like you saw in my oiling afro textured hair video, I you want to do your hair in sections because you have a lot, lot of hair and you want to make sure all the strands are covered and you want to take your time. You don't want to ever do your hair when you're angry because obviously you know you're not in good spirits and you're not positive and you're going to be taking out your anger on your hair. Um, as I was saying, you want to do your hair in sections to ensure that it all gets covered up. And um, yeah, basically that's why. So you can take this, you can braid it or twist it. You just want to do something to get it out of the way. So that you know that you've done one section and then you're moving on to the next. See what I'm doing? I'm just taking the conditioner and applying it to sections of my hair. See that? You want to get the ends and everything else. See a lot of times with natural hair too it shrinks so much that a lot of people don't really know the length of your hair and you don't have to worry about you know what they think in terms of oh her hair is not long a lot of times our hair will shrink up so much that you're not going to be able to tell the length of it unless it's straightened or blow dried or in a stretched state but your hair is still growing long just like everybody else's okay see that so that's what I'm doing and I'm gonna go ahead and do that to the back and so I'm not going to do everything on camera, but you get the gist of it. And this is what you do to put the conditioner in your hair and you're, it's going to soften up your hair. And so this is what you do before you detangle. And I'm going to put that 
in a clip and I'm gonna do the other two sections off camera. When I come back, I'm gonna show you how I'm detangling through my hair when it's soft and moisturized to avoid any breakage, any damage so that it can be detangled. So when I go to my next step, which is to shampoo my hair, in which I shampoo my hair in sections, but we'll get to that. Okay, thanks. Okay, YouTube, I'm back. I'm like multitasking, doing a million and one things, but I left this in a little longer than anticipated. But like I told you, I'm going to just do the front portions on camera so you can see what I'm talking about and get a better idea of what I was trying to say. So now, I will take my rat tail comb and make a part, and I can do that now because my hair is pretty much soft. You want to get a wide tooth comb. This is pretty wide, but I have a wider tooth comb. I don't feel like getting up to get it now, so I'm just going to use this. But see, you're going to gently go towards the ends and work your way up. And you see, the comb is going through your hair like no problem because you softened up that hair and so now you don't have tangles because the conditioner just melted right through them you see what I mean so that's how I do it and then I take that portion and twist it I wash my hair in twists or braids big twists similar like this size and then just don't twist it so tight you leave enough room by the scalp so that the shampoo and whatever can get there but doing that makes it easier so that your hair doesn't get tangled and you're minimizing the tangles and the knots the more that you can minimize that the more that you will begin to see that you'll retain your length a lot of people are under the misconception that afro textured hair doesn't grow or their hair doesn't grow your hair is not growing unless you have a medical condition or you're on medication that's preventing your hair from growing or it's falling out and it's breaking. However, if you can minimize the breakage, knots, tangles, all of that mess, each month you will see that the half an inch that your hair grows on average per month, it could be more or less, you're going to see that you're retaining it. Now remember my hair was in a long term, it was in a, a I was wearing it in a braid out for the week. so. Hair that's coming out in the comb now is shed hair. Your hair sheds every single day. So, you know, you get to know your hair's shedding pattern. But see, I'm combing through this hair like nothing. This is afro textured hair. You see, I'm getting the comb through. It's no, ah, ah. No, we don't want to do that. We want to just easily slide that comb through, remove that shed hair do it in small sections and then twist or braid take it and pin it up so this way when you go to wash your hair your hair is going to be in sections it's going to already be de detangled and you're minimizing all of that so for those of you who know this already that's great but I have lots of people who subscribe daily and there's a lot of new people on YouTube who really really don't know and I think it's really important to reach out to them because when I started on YouTube which is what was a while back with my videos in 2009 most of those people who I started with already you know reached their hair goals so they don't really focus on the newcomers that you know just did the big chop or anything like that their hair is like down to their waist already so I think it's important to continue to look out for the people who are just coming up and just you know be seed or who are transitioning or who um would like to go natural and don't know how so this is my process before i wash my hair um you detangle it see nice and easy you can see the shed hair in the comb that's not broken hair that's shed hair okay this way you minimize all of that hair breakage that a lot of us who are improperly combing our hair you know do to ourselves I'm gonna go ahead and do this to my whole head 
Today I'm going to be shampooing and conditioning and doing a deep treatment. Uh, please stay tuned for the next video because I'll continue with my deep treatment. I'm going to be doing, I'll show you right now so you'll know. I am going to be, for well, first I'm going to wash my hair with the Giovanni Triple Tea Tree and <laughs> the Giovanni Tea Tree Triple Tree. It's always so hard to say. Tea Tree Triple Tree <laughs> Shampoo and the Tea Tree Triple Tree Conditioner. I know a lot of people say Triple Threat and all of that. It's so difficult to say. And then I'm going to be using my Vatika. I just got this. I'm trying it out for the first time. Deep Conditioning Hair Mask. I'm going to do that in a separate video. So um, thank you guys for watching. I hope I was able to help you learn how to detangle your hair. And especially for the ones who have little girls, please be gentle with their hair. Learn how to do it the proper way so you don't cause unnecessary torture to these little girls growing up thinking that they have bad hair and they can't manage it and it can't grow because it can. So thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video when I do my deep treatment. Bye-bye.